All right, so let's uh, do a little um, prediction of the uh, products of a reaction. In question 20 here, it says predict the products of each precipitation reaction and balance the uh, completed equation. All right, and then we're going to write the net ionic equation. Okay, so let's look at this uh, first one. And we have uh, lead nitrate. Um, NO3 2 plus KBr, potassium bromide. Okay, so what's going to happen? We have two ionic compounds. The, um, so what's going to happen is they're going to switch ion pairs. The potassium will go with the nitrate, the positive, the cation with an anion, the cation with the other anion. Okay. So then what we have here, the, uh, it'll be PBBR, okay? But that's, um, remember, what's the charge of lead here? We don't know offhand. Um, lead actually isn't technically a transition metal. It's in that uh, fourth group with carbon down toward the bottom. But um, it's on the metal side, and it also has a variable... Um, charge and um, therefore we have to um, imply or, or uh, deduce its charge from the compound that it's with. Okay, it's with nitrate. It has two nitrates. Each nitrate is a negative one. You should know that. Um, so the lead must be a positive two. And if the lead is a positive two, when it joins up with bromide, it needs two bromide because the bromine is uh, a negative forms a negative one charge, so that'll be PBBr two, okay, and then um, the other one will be potassium nitrate. Potassium is an alkali metal; it has a positive one charge. That's the first group. Nitrate has a negative one, so those go together um, one to one KNO three. All right, so those are the products, lead, bromide, and potassium nitrate. And we can um, now balance this equation, okay? So again, um, as I've mentioned before, you want to start with the more uh, complicated formulas, all right? So it doesn't really matter which one we do here, but we can start with lead nitrate, and we have two nitrates. In, in these types of double displacement reactions, the nitrate stays over, it's still NO3 over there, so we don't have to balance the nitrogen and then the oxygen. We can balance it as an ion, the nitrate ion. And so we just have two nitrate ions, so we need two nitrate ions over here. So we put a two uh, in front there, and that gives us two potassium ions, so we need a 2 in front of our KBr. That gives us to 2 bromine atoms, which we have over there. Then we check the other one. It verifies that we have balanced that correctly. Okay? So now, um, now we, we've balanced the equation. We want to write the net ionic equation. Okay, so what we need to, to know in order to um, find the net ionic equation is we need to know what is soluble and what is insoluble. Okay, so that's where we will consult the solubility rules. If I can bring them into uh, focus here. Um, so here are our solubility rules. And I think what might be the easiest is to uh, just reference these instead of trying to get them in view. But anyway, we'll look at a few of them here. Um, let's just uh, let's do it this way. We have nitrate, right? We can look at either of these ions, but um, we'll we probably won't find lead on here uh, directly. So let's look at the nitrate. 
salts of nitrate are soluble compounds and there aren't exceptions noted for that. So I'm just going to put um, soluble there. Potassium bromide, um, again, we can look at either ion. Let's look at the potassium for this one. And we say, we see here almost all salts of sodium, potassium, ammonium are soluble, um, no exceptions. And uh, if we look at the bromide, we'll find it down here, almost all salts of chloride, bromide, and iodide are also soluble. There are exceptions. Silver, mercury, lead, potassium is not one of those. So this is soluble. Okay. However, here's another bromide and lead is a, an exception there. Okay. So this one is insoluble. All right. And then here again, um, nitrates and the potassiums, those are soluble compounds. Okay, so now um, we can, um, well, let's just uh, do this. All right, so now we know the soluble compounds and the insoluble compound. So when we're doing our net ionic equation, we're going to break apart the soluble ones into their constituent ions. Okay, and you know how to break these apart because you never mess with the polyatomic ions. Okay, the polyatomic ions remain as a unit. All right, so when this breaks apart, I have lead surrounded with two nitrate ions, Pb, you have to put those charges in there, and this is aqueous. Okay, um, I really should. Uh, give myself a little bit more room here. Um, so I'm going to kind of go backwards a little bit. It doesn't matter what order we put anything in the equation. Um, the plus, um, it goes either in either direction. But here I have two nitrate. And that will also be aqueous. All the ions are always aqueous. Okay. Potassium bromide is also soluble. So... When that breaks apart, I'll have two potassium ions. So it'll look like this, two potassium ions and two bromide ions. That two applies to both because it's saying I have two KBr formula units, okay? That includes the bromine there. So I'll also have um, two Br minus aqueous, okay? So those are my reactants. And then on the product side, I'll have the PBBr2, and this one is an insoluble compound, so that will be a solid, right? It doesn't, I mean, it's still in the solid state, um, and so I have to note that, okay? This will separate, and so I have two potassium ions in aqueous solution, and then two nitrate ions. Okay, so there we have it. There's the total ionic equation. You see why I went backwards now. They do take up a little bit of space. So now let's do the net ionic equation, right? The net ionic equation, as the name implies, is what's net. What, what can we eliminate out of here, which are the two potassium ions? We see those on both sides of the equation. We also see these uh, two nitrate ions on both sides of the equation, okay? So nothing else will cancel. Um, the lead is not in an identical form, nor is the bromide. Um, and so the net ionic equation, I'll just put this back in the uh, typical order here. Lead plus my two bromide aqueous. Um, each one is a negative one charge. And that will give me Pb 
BR2, and that is a solid. Okay, so there is my net ionic equation. Okay.